It was late at night when Richard was sound asleep in his apartment. Suddenly, his doorbell rings. He wonders who it must be at this late hour. He struggles to get up and drags himself to the door and sees Ava gasping and excited. Richard asks about her unexpected visit. To this, Ava reveals that she somehow found a way that could guarantee a win in the horse race gambling that was supposed to happen in the next two days. It was an eminent race for which they were planning to bet upon for a long time. Ava tells him that she overheard the organizers talking about a system in which the data regarding each participating horse was saved and was secured by a three-digit password. Ava explains that it has the details of each horse such as their strengths, performance and records in the past races and this would help her and the gang decide the horse they should bet on. Richard agreed to help her if it guaranteed their win. It was a grand race that would reward them a huge sum of money for their betting on the right horse. This was the reason Ava wanted her gang to win. Thus, it became Richard's responsibility to use his skills to hack the system. Will they be able to hoax the security of the venue and find the system that has the entire data? Even if they find it, will Richard be able to decode it? Let us now understand how random experiment and sample spacing of probability helps them in the entire situation. A random experiment is a process by which we observe something uncertain. After the experiment, the result of the random experiment or the outcome is known. As from the story, we can see that here the random experiment, that is, the experiment whose outcome is unknown, is the password of the system, as neither Richard nor Eva knows what the password is. Sample space of an experiment, denoted by delta, is the set of all possible outcomes of that experiment. All the outcomes are listed as elements in the set. Now, for this example, sample space includes any value that can be a 3-digit password. It can be anything from 000 to 999. Before understanding what is probability, let us understand what favorable outcomes and total outcomes are. Favorable outcome is the outcome in which we are interested. Total outcomes are all of the outcomes of an experiment. Now, probability can be defined as the extent to which an event is likely to occur, measured by the ratio of the favorable outcome to the total number of outcomes possible. So, his probability of guessing the correct answer is favorable outcome divided by total outcomes. Here, favorable outcome equals to 1 as there is only one correct password and total outcome equals to 1000 as there can be 1000 possible passwords. So, the probability is 1 divided by 1000 which is 0 0.001. So, his probability of guessing the correct answer is 1 by 1000 which is very low. After carefully analyzing the probability and odds of guessing the password, he develops a code that covers all the possibilities for the password. After a few minutes, he hacks into the system and gets the data. In the future episode of Permutation and Combination, you'll get to know the in-depth explanation of decoding the password. In the next episode, we'll find out how the data helps the gang to ensure their win in gambling and if they make the correct choice regarding the selection of the horse or not. So stay tuned. Please leave a like so it motivates us to do better. Share with your friends and subscribe for more such informative content.